Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us today for a very special Princess Cruises webinar. My name is Anna, I'm an Industry Relations Specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run about 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. The webinar is being recorded and will be posted on our uh, YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it's my pleasure to introduce our presenter, John Cherneski. John serves as Senior Vice President North America Sales and Trade Marketing for Princess Cruises and Cunard Line. He leads a team of 60 professionals providing business development and strategic sales support to travel consultants. And with that, take it away, John. Thank you, Anna, and thank you everyone for joining in uh, on this, what is a beautiful day here in Southern California. Hopefully you are enjoying 70 degrees and sun. Most of you are probably not, but hopefully you are. Let's dive right in because we've got uh, 322 slides to get through in 45 minutes. So I like to show this first slide coming up here with me and my twin boys, John and Michael, as part of every presentation I do uh, as a reminder of my boys back when they were actually cute and adorable. Uh, they are now 13, they're in seventh grade and uh, this photo represents the first day actually of seventh grade. Uh, so clearly uh, I've got my hands full and uh, yeah, well, let's just move on from that. Enough about them. Let's get back to me, John Cherneski, or as I like to say, how I wish John Cherneski looked, because that would make my life so much easier. But I don't look anything like that. In fact, most people say I look like this guy, which is, of course, my bobblehead. This was the uh, second bobblehead we created for me because the first one ran out. It was so, it was so popular. We gave them all away, and uh, I hear they're going on eBay for at least three or four pennies each. Uh, so we created a second version featuring the medallion. And uh, actually, you know what we're going to do at the end of this presentation, we are going to give away one of these bobbleheads to one of you lucky folks, as long as you are tuned in at the very end. So stay tuned, and you might just win one of these amazing bobbleheads. And then you too can sell it uh, on eBay. Okay, speaking of me, uh, here is a snapshot of my, uh, from my phone of my uh, Facebook page. Uh, and I have just over 17,000 followers. And I wanna make sure this number goes up uh, by the end of this uh, presentation. And so we're gonna keep an eye on that number. Uh, but the way you like me is you go on Facebook, don't search for my name because this is not the same account. My personal account is different from my work account and my work account is under Princess VP Sales. And they termed it that way because when they fire me, they wanna keep the account going. So go into Facebook and search Princess VP Sales and you will find my account. So please like me, follow me and uh, we will see what that number gets to at the very end. Okay, at Princess, we like to call ourselves the destination leader, which is somewhat of a bold statement because last I checked, there's a lot of cruise lines out there and we all go to many of the same places. But the way we take people to the various destinations is why we consider ourselves to be the destination leader. Uh, we've also won a number of awards, which I'll put up here. Um, some of these are legitimate. Some of these, like the one in the top left, where I was apparently awarded best sales executive by all travel advisors on planet Earth, may or may not be true. But uh, most of these are really great to get. We love getting awards. Who doesn't like to get an award? But there's a couple other things which I even put more weight into, which I wanted to share with you. I think there's more um, value in talking about them because of how meaningful they are. So this is a screenshot, some insider information on the business of Princess. And it's a uh, running tally of our elite level guests who are part of our Captain Circle program, which is our loyalty program. So Princess has the best loyalty program in the industry. Ask anyone, they'll tell you that. And we have the very top tier guests are elite level. They've done 16 or more cruises. And back in 2004, we had just under 12,000 of them. This year, we're projecting to hit 135,000. Now, what's amazing about this is that if you think about any business or service you go to in your daily life, whether it's um, you know going to a restaurant or um, you know, buying a car, whatever it is, if you don't enjoy that experience and feel like you're getting great value, chances of you going back are very slim. And so what this tells me is that people are coming back because of the great product, the great service that is delivered on board by our amazing crew. And, and if we weren't delivering that, people would not be coming back. People are, have, have options. They have a lot of choices. But the fact this number keeps growing like this is amazing. It's also a testament to the fact that we go to so many places in the world. We don't just sit in one destination that we really do travel the world and you can spend the rest of your days on earth uh, traveling with us and only us because of all the great places um, that we go. Now, when it comes to the various destinations, we also take great stock 
in the annual Gallup survey, which is done of the travel advisor community. So they go out and they survey all you folks. They do a very rigorous study each year uh, and they ask a number of questions. And the one I'm focusing on here talks about the ranking for each brand by trade. And so they say, for each trade, who do you recommend when a client says, do I want to go to Alaska? Who's the first brand you recommend, et cetera? And so here's the rankings from 2019. We expect the 2020 rankings to come out in about March, April. So we'll share those when they come out. But we were ranked number one in Alaska, number one in Mexico, number one in the Panama Canal, number one in Asia and South Pacific, number one in South America. I only wish my report cards in college and high school looked as good. We were a close second in the Mediterranean uh, for Europe. We were a close second for Hawaii. And we are number four in the Caribbean. We're actually the, the fourth largest cruise line in terms of capacity deployed to the Caribbean. So no surprise that we weren't the number one here. So this is a great testament that you're all telling us that you trust us to recommend us number one for most of these places to your clients. And so we, we greatly appreciate that. But as we're going to talk about, we never rest on our laurels. We're always investing. We're always coming up with new ways to even make our, our products and services even better, plus the places we go even better. So I also wanted to share with you some highlights from a study that was done by our corporation. So we're part of Carnival Corporation, and we hired a, a very expensive consulting firm to go out and do a rigorous uh, psychographic profiling study, a segmentation study, they called it, of the entire cruise industry. And the, the idea behind a, a psychographic profile is that it's how you think of yourself mentally. It's, it's not a demographic, which is more about your age and income and all that kind of stuff. Psychographics is how do I perceive myself? Am I adventurous? Am I relaxed? Am I, you know, it's how you kind of consider whether you're 18 or 80 years old, doesn't matter. It's what is your energy level? What is your approach to life? And how do you like to do things and enjoy, enjoy yourself? And so out of this uh, very in-depth study, there were eight categories that were created to really profile each of the cruisers that existed today. And of those eight, princess fit into four of those categories. And you see them up here on the screen. Now, people don't walk around thinking of themselves, I'm a discerning recharger. It's just the name that was given to these people based on the profile that they fit as part of this study. And the fact that princess fit into four of the eight categories, whereas most cruise lines fit into one or two, tells you that princess has a very broad appeal, which is why we're so great, especially for first time cruisers, because it's a great way to introduce yourself to cruising. Uh, not that I'm biased or anything, but clearly this was a great study to kind of validate what I've, what I've always known that we do appeal to everybody, young, old, um, uh, you know, adventure seekers, relaxed people, families, et cetera. Okay, so when it comes to the destinations we go to, because I only have uh, 45 minutes to talk with you, we're not going to be able to go through all these great places we go to, but clearly we do go to all these amazing places, and we're just going back to Antarctica for the first time in about seven years. We just finished our first cruise down there. We got a three coming up, or two more coming up. We're going back to Tahiti in the fall of this year, all the other places we've been going to for a long time. And if you have clients interested, hopefully you will consider Princess um, for their travel needs. Now, this photo here is of a Princess ship sailing up the East River uh, of Manhattan. Go, I'm kidding. This is Alaska. This is a pretty special place. And you've probably heard about Alaska. It's kind of a big deal in the cruising industry. And even more focus has been placed on Alaska as more and more ships and more cruise lines are trying to go up there because they realize just how great it is. Now at Princess, uh, we have a little bit of a competitive advantage because uh, we are the number one cruise line in Alaska. And so we have, and we take this very seriously. We are the number one cruise line because we take more guests there than any other cruise line. Uh, we've been going there for just 50 years. We just passed the 50 year mark in 2019. Uh, but it's not about just the years we've been going. It's kind of how we do it. And obviously the volume of people we take there, the more people trust us to take them to Alaska than anyone. Uh, another accolade I like to share is that we've been uh, the 16-time winner of the Travel Weekly Reader's Choice Awards for the best in Alaska. Uh, so we just re uh, received the 16th award back in December to confirm for 2019, so we love that. And if you look at the Gallup survey, I remember I was talking about that earlier, we've actually won that 18 years in a row as the number one ranked per the travel agent slash advisor community. So these are all the great accolades, but let's talk more about what we do and how we do uh, Alaska. As I mentioned, we've been going there for 50 years. Uh, we're going into our 51st year. Uh, we've got a number of cruise itineraries. And I love this slide, honestly, because of the moose. And this thing is adorable. Now, if I could fit it into my house, I would bring it home with me, but I don't think it would fit. It is adorable though. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a number of different uh, features and options for how you, your clients can experience Alaska with Princess. We do have a variety of ships going there in 2020. We have our smallest ship, the Pacific Princess, just over 600 people, all the way up to the Royal Princess. So depending on your client's interests and needs, 
We've got it covered. We've got medallion class on four ships in 2020 in Alaska. I'm going to talk about medallion class in a little bit in case you don't know all about that. And we have a number of departure ports. And so we do Gulf cruising, which is basically a north or a southbound trip where you start in, say, Vancouver and end in Whittier, which is right by Anchorage, or you do the opposite, go to Whittier to Anchorage. And that's where you tag on a pre or post trip with our cruise tour. Um, or we also do round trip cruising out of Seattle, San Francisco, and Los Angeles for the full season. So we call ourselves the, or actually I like to call ourselves the home port cruise line for Alaska because we give your clients who maybe live close to those, those ports the ease of getting on the ship without having to fly. So not having to fly is kind of cool, uh, but it is an option for any clients that you have that are in uh, those areas. Now, I love showing this photograph because of, of course, the puppies. These are beautiful sled dog puppies. And if you've never held a sled dog puppy or seen one up close, they are a bundle of energy. I swear they drink like six Red Bulls every morning. They're amazing. Um, but we've actually created this program called North to Alaska, which is why I'm showing you this photo, which is a, a Magellan Award winning uh, program. It's, it's all about bringing the destination onto the ship. So the moment you step foot on our ships going to Alaska, you feel like you're going to Alaska. This is an experience we offer in Skagway, actually, where we bring on sled dog puppies into the piazza. We call it Puppies in the Piazza. And it's a very controlled, very safe uh, environment for the dogs. But guests who aren't, aren't maybe going on a tour that day to see the sled dogs get a chance to experience them. So I think it's pretty cool. But it's not just about puppies. It's about everything from bringing food on board, the local eateries that have made, become famous in various ports throughout Juneau or Ketchikan. We bring those, the, their recipes and their, their food dishes on board. Um, we bring on great speakers, Iditarod winners. We bring on um, entertainers. We bring on, of course, the park rangers in Glacier Bay. Activities for the kids. Um, we even bring on uh, these buff, hot lumberjacks from Ketchikan in the top left there. And we teach guests how to throw an ax on board. How on earth this passed our safety test? I have no idea, but it did. Uh, it's actually a really cool event activity and uh, something to check out. And so really get your hands kind of into it and experience it. And that's what North to Alaska is all about. Now, a lot of people think of Princess for Alaska for one reason, and that's not just because of the number of people we take, but because we offer the most extensive array of cruise tours, which is a combination of going on a cruise and then going to one of our lodges. And so our marketing department took this picture because one of the highlights, if not the highlight of going on a cruise tour is getting to see Denali, which is the highest mountain in North America. And you got to go on a cruise tour to see it. You won't see it from the ship. And so this photo I love because you got four highly paid models all looking at each other rather than the beautiful mountain in the background. So I just love this picture. It's, it, it makes me crack up. I'd rather show you this photograph, which was actually submitted on my Facebook page uh, to me by a travel agent who was sailing in September on the last cruise of the year and did a cruise tour. And she was on the Tundra Wilderness Tour. And she said, hey, thought you might like to see this photo. And boy, do I ever. It says it all. And, you know, it's a great picture, but you don't really uh, appreciate the size of the mountain until you're close to it. And so it's one of the reasons why people want to go and kind of get close to uh, Denali. The way that we extend uh, our journey from the cruise into the cruise tour, uh, we have an exclusive situation that we call direct to the wilderness, which means you get off the ship in Whittier and you literally walk across the parking lot and you get on this train, this luxury train. It's amazing. It's got the glass dome, so beautiful views. There's open air sections where you can go out and get the fresh air. Um, it's a you know, few hour ride from the ship to the lodge. You're there the same day. You don't have to overnight in Anchorage like other lines make you do. So it's really convenient. And I have to say, I've done this train ride a couple of times and it's one of the highlights of the whole trip because it's just, I love trains and it's so picturesque along the coast. You see some, you know, animals and wildlife off in the distance or even up close sometimes. And then, and then you transition into the interior, which you, you enter a whole different planet, which I love. Uh, and so that's exclusive to princess and for your clients who are lazy like me, where you don't know how to do planes, trains and automobiles and just walk from a ship to a train. Uh, we are the only ones offering that. Now, I want to show you one cruise tour, and it's a bit of an extreme cruise tour. It's called the Alt, uh, sorry, the Princess, the Ultimate Princess Alaska Cruise Tour. It's the first year in 2020 we'll be offering this, and I want to walk you through it. And I'm, I'm telling you this because it's a great way for me to help explain to you the variety of places that we go to uh, and the lodges that we have, even though what I'm about to tell you has is almost sold out for 2020. So it's kind of weird for me to be telling you something that you really can't sell to your clients in 20, but I think it's, you'll agree it's a good overview. Plus, there's opportunities in 21 where we're expanding the capacity because first time we've ever offered it and it's selling like hotcakes, so that's great. All right, so it's a 17-night land and cruise tour. You go, you go 10 nights on land, which means for each of the five lodges that we own and operate, we own and operate our own lodges, you get to spend two nights at each one, plus you do the seven-day cruise. So 
It's a fully escorted tour when you're on the land. You know, you have somebody with you the whole time. You get some uh, tours that are included. Um, most of the meals are included. So it's kind of a all-inclusive sort of experience that you get to go through. And I'll, let me visually show you what it means. So as part of this Ultimate Princess Alaska Cruise Tour, you actually get to experience four national parks. So you get to Denali National Park, of course, Kenai Fjords, uh, Wrangell St. Elias, which is a massive national park, and Glacier Bay, of course. And so your trip uh, will allow you to start up in Fairbanks, where our first lodge, and you go two nights there, and then two nights at uh, Denali, Princess Wilderness Lodge, then two nights at Mount McKinley, two nights at Kenai, and then finally two nights at Copper River. And then you take, um, you know, this, you do some combination of motor coach and trains in between the lodges, and you do a high speed uh, catamaran across Prince William Sound to get on the ship uh, in Whittier. And then you do your seven day cruise down and you get to see two, you'll have two days of glacier viewing. So you see, you'll always get to go to Glacier Bay National Park, which is the highlight of glaciers. And then you also will either do College Fjord or Hubbard Glacier, which are also really cool, but it's not quite as spectacular as Glacier Bay. Plus of course, Skagway, Juneau and Ketchikan, and then you end your voyage in Vancouver. So that's one trip. That's for your clients who got the time, 17 days, it's an extreme one, um, but you can always do, you know, much shorter versions of that where you maybe, the minimum you can do is three days, maybe spend two nights at Denali, one night at Mount McKinley, um, but it just gives you an idea. The activities at all these different lodges are amazing from the sled dogging to the, um, you know, kayaking, float planes, fishing, whitewater rafting, uh, you name it. I thought I would take a moment to go through each of the five lodges real quick, just to give you a highlight of them. So Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge, it's about 660, well, it's not about, it is 663 rooms. It's just on the, uh, near the entrance of the national park. Um, and it really gives you great access into the park. It's situated along uh, a beautiful river, which I will show you here. So you can get a sense of the park and it's, it's uh, amazing scenery. You don't actually see the mountain from this lodge you have but it does give you great and easy access into uh, the national park for the tours that you'll do here's an example uh some shots of fanny cues which is in honor of fanny cues she's kind of a famous alaska settler back in the day and the beautiful setting for the bar and the lounge there uh, and we offer a number of tours that go into the park like i mentioned you can do a natural history tour a wilderness tour and there's even an experience the kantishna experience which is a quite an experience you're going to spend 11 to 12 hours um, during the day going to see all the way into the park to the remote um, uh, town of Kantishna, which is one of the uh, big gold um, uh, settling towns. And you'll get you know, guided throughout. It's, it's on a school bus. It's not run by us. It's run by the park service. And so uh, it's kind of rugged. But for people that really want to see all the park, uh, hot tip for your clients, if they do it, order the box lunch from the lodge to bring with them because the food they'll serve on the actual tour is not exactly uh, the best meal you'll ever have. But it is, it is very popular and it just gives you an idea of what you'll get to see uh, when you go in. Okay, so then we have the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. We actually built this lodge because we wanted a view of Denali from the lodge. That's the only reason we built this lodge. So we have two lodges, Denali and Mount McKinley, right um, by the park entrance. And this is the one with the view. It's a remote setting. It's stunning. Um, it's got some great tour options. Uh, it's also situated on a river. You're going to find that as a recurring theme. Uh, great activities and things to do there. You can see here the beautiful picture with the lodge in the foreground and the mountain in the background. Uh, hiking, you name it. Got some great naturalists. And we've even built a treehouse on the property of Mount McKinley uh, as part of the Treehouse Masters show. If you haven't seen that episode, go check it out. Uh, it's a great show and how they actually were able to build this treehouse. We've got the fire pits for the s'mores and all that fun stuff. And then we actually bring in, we've created this Hudson Theater where we bring in people who have actually climbed Mount uh, or climbed Denali, uh, which is quite an, a mountaineering feat. And, they, and we do lectures in there. This is a plane that we, uh, we refurbished that was used to bring uh, mountaineers out to the base camp uh, of the mountain. So really a cool place for your clients to check out. Kenai Princess Wilderness Lodge is a very small lodge. It's only 86 rooms. It's actually our highest rated lodge. The lodge experience in terms of the, the cruise tours is a very highly rated experience. People love it. But of all the lodges, this one gets the highest ratings just probably because it's more intimate uh, and it's a very remote setting. Great fishing. Um, also on a river, as you see there, quite a, quite a place to have, enjoy a glass of wine. And of course, you know, in the summer, Alaska sun stays up until you know, 11, 12 o'clock at night. Um, great opportunity to connect with your loved one or your family. 
uh, and it's got that remote setting like I uh, like I was talking about. But great dining, great service, and really great way to connect with uh, the beautiful nature that abounds there. And then we've got the Copper River Princess Wilderness Lodge. It's also a small lodge, only 85 rooms. It's on the doorstep of Wrangell St. Elias National Park. Um, great opportunities for fishing and uh, exploring. And this is where close to where you'll eventually take that high-speed catamaran over to uh, Whittier to get on your cruise. Um, here's another shot there, the fishing, and then the Picture on the bottom right looks like a Viagra commercial. Is it just me? Um, all right, let's move on. Okay, so don't forget, last but not least, our Fairbanks uh, Wilderness Lodge. And this is, uh, you also get two nights, like I said, on that one tour. Um, got some great opportunities there for all sorts of the gold dredging, the seaplanes, uh, paddle wheel boats. And uh, it's a larger lodge, a little bit bigger than the last two I showed you. But this is, I just want to give you quickly an overview of all five of the lodges in case you hadn't uh, seen them. Now, a lot of people say to me, John, when should I go to Alaska? And it's, it's a tough question to, to answer because you know whether you're in May or all the way through September, you're gonna see something different each month and there's no guaranteeing weather, there's no guaranteeing whale sightings. You never know. I've been to uh, Juneau in September and the whale uh, watch guide said, you're never gonna see an orca or a killer whale this time of year. And sure enough, we saw a pot of orca. So you just never know. This was a picture that I wanted to share with you. It's not the highest quality picture you'll ever see, but it was taken by our captain, Captain Tuvo on the Star Princess in May of 2019 from the bridge as they were sailing out of Ketchikan, which is um, not the farthest northern place you'll go. And when you see the northern lights, typically the, the farther north you are, and you'll see them usually in the winter. The fact that this was in May, uh, he actually woke everybody up. It was about midnight or 12.30 in the morning. And he sent out a, a notice to everybody and try not to scare him and said, hey, just want you to know special opportunity to see the Northern Lights. And uh, if you go out on deck, bundle up and you'll get to experience it with us. And so that's the beauty to me of the adventure of cruising and the fact that these kind of things happen. And hey, you're going into the wilderness and you never know. So we love that Captain Tuvo took advantage of that to share it with all the guests. So of the ships going to Alaska in 2020, here's an overview of them. And I'm going to talk about medallion class and medallion net in a second, but this helps define who, uh, which ships have wet um, this year. And so the Voyage of the Glaciers, that's the northbound where you're going from Vancouver to Whittier and back and, and back. Uh, we've got the Pacific, the Coral, which will have Medallion Net, which is the high speed uh, internet. You've got the Grand and the Royal, both of which will be um, fully activated with Medallion Class. And the inside passage doing round trip out of Seattle is the Ruby and the Emerald, both Medallion Class enabled. And then the round trip San Francisco will be the Star Princess, which will have Medallion Net. And then the Golden out of Los Angeles, which will be Medallion Net as well. So that gives you an idea of the ships that we have uh, in Alaska. So eight ships in 2020. Some pictures of me and my family. We did a trip there to celebrate my mom's uh, 70th birthday a few years back. And definitely Chernesky family approved. We had a wonderful day. I even took that picture, got very, very lucky, of the eagles swooping down to catch the fish out of the ocean. But we had a wonderful day, great weather. And uh, yeah, just can't recommend it highly enough. Now. I do get questions from time to time saying, hey, Princess Holland America Line, you guys are sister brands. You're part of the same corporation, but you're the, known as the leaders of going to Alaska. So who is number one? You know, Princess carries more people. Holland America has been going there longer. Uh, they're very different brands for different types of clients. And so, you know, it's not necessarily that one is better than the other, although clearly I think Princess is better. But nonetheless, we've actually created a video series uh, of a mock presidential debate, given that we're in that season, uh, featuring Orlando Ashford, who is the president of Holland America Line, and Jan Swartz, who's the, our president at Princess Cruises, having a series of videos. There's going to be 12 videos in total that are, you know, three to four minutes each and where they are debating the merits of their brands and who is number one. So go check this out either on my Facebook page, prefer you go there because then I get more clicks and engagement, or you can go to the website we created, goalaska2020.com. And we are actually announcing a great prize that you can win just today. I think it's been posted already uh, where you're going to be, we're going to be drawing some lucky winners who go on and complete the quizzes uh, to win an uh, Alaska cruise tour with Princess or land and sea journey with Holland America Line. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Now, this slide, hopefully when you see the slide, you think, wow, that looks luxurious. That is really nice. You got the black tie, you got the beautiful food, you got the entertainment. Which brand is this? Hopefully you get an idea that this is Cunard. This is um, our, our British sister brand that we help oversee uh, for North America sales. And it's a luxury opportunity uh, for your clients. And I'm segueing away from Princess for a second because I want to make sure you all realize or, or are aware of the fact that, hmm, is Kinard going to Alaska? Let me see. Let me see. Yes, 
hopefully you know Cunard is going to Alaska. We had the Queen Elizabeth there in 2019 for just a handful of sailings. In 2020, she's going to be doing a full season of nine round-trip sailings. They're 10-day cruising out of Vancouver. And for your clients who are looking for that luxury experience, something you should definitely check out. Uh, the way we set up the itinerary is that you're going to get six ports out of those trips, uh, two glaciers on every two glacier days on every sailing. You get Glacier Bay on every sailing. You get the full day in each port. We've tried to make sure that the timing in port is maximized so there's not as many other ships in town. Uh, we're bringing some great Alaska experts on board. Uh, the QE, Queen Elizabeth, has been uh, recently refurbished. She's beautiful. And we actually are doing a partnership with Rocky Mountaineer for pre and post train trips uh, into the Yukon, into the wilderness for those clients that are interested. So if you have luxury clients that are looking to go to Alaska, check out Cunard, please. Okay, back to Princess and the medallion class, which I said I was going to mention. Uh, we've had this out now for just over a year. We introduced it officially on the Caribbean Princess in November of 2018. And then we have a number of ships that are offering it now, which I'll talk about. Um, but I wanna go through just the basic principles of what is medallion class. And this technology, which is amazing, patent pending, just really innovative stuff, um, what it's all about, because it's really not about the technology, it's about what you experience when you're on board. One of the coolest things you do is you get ocean ready before you set sail, and that means your medallions are shipped to you at home. Unless if you live in Canada, where we cannot ship this technology over the border, so apologies for that, but please do still get ocean ready if you're in Canada, because um, we will make sure your medallions are waiting for you, and it's really a seamless process once you get to the terminal. So I'm, I did a video series last week, hopefully you saw my medallion moments. Here's some screenshots from that where I was getting, I was already ocean ready, so literally you walk in, I already had my medallion, I showed my passport, and I went from curbside to the poolside in a breeze. And next thing you know, I'm sitting by the pool, uh, sipping a Mai Tai there, I got my, my bobblehead is soaking in the jacuzzi in the background, and it really did offer a very seamless embarkation uh, experience. One of the coolest things it also does is it opens your door, it unlocks your door for you, um, you have to still, you know, turn the handle. Uh, but here's a shot of a guest going back to her cabin with some coffees and donuts. And then you can use your elbow. And this just kind of gives you that. You get spoiled when you're on board because you don't have to take anything out. It just opens and unlocks for you. And you feel like a, a special guest. And everybody gets them. This isn't by cabin type. No, you know, it's not balcony and above. Everybody on board gets a medallion. Um, and I have to say this photo troubles me in a unique way, and I will explain that in just a second. But I wanted to share um, this quote that came from a travel advisor who sailed last year with us, where she thought it was so cool, no more fumbling for cruise cards, trying to open the door. And she noticed that her neighbor was always bringing coffee to his wife each morning. And he said that, that this magic door, quote unquote, was a lifesaver. And I thought that was really cool. So I'm gonna bring you back to that picture I just showed you. What's wrong with this picture? Other than the fact that this woman is carrying 40,000 calories worth of donuts, which no one should eat that many donuts, why is she getting the coffee? Something's seriously wrong with this photograph. You know, I've met most of you male travel advisors out there, and I got to tell you, you're not exactly a catch. So do yourself a favor and fetch your wife some coffee in the morning so we don't have to take this picture ever again. Okay, moving on. The other great thing about Medallion Class is we have a feature called Ocean Now, which is where things are brought to you. At, a, at the push of a button. So you can be sitting by the poolside or on the chair here on the promenade deck, and you can say, you know what, I feel like a glass of wine or a coffee or some food, and you select it on your phone, and due to the sensors, the 7,000 sensors that exist on the ship that know that you're where you are, the crew will come and find you and with a smile deliver um, the thing that you asked for. And so it's not just the, the wine there, like I said. I mean, it's got a variety of features that we're offering from food to stateroom service from ice to towels, robes, pillows. Um, and there I am in the bottom right with way too much food and drink and alcohol being brought to me. Um, but it's really to make sure you are not having to get up out of your chair or flag down a crew member, take out your phone, press a couple of buttons, and all this stuff is coming your way. And we're going to be announcing very soon that we're even expanding the menu and the coverage on the ship to even make it better than it is today, uh, which is pretty cool because it's amazing today. Another great feature is that you get to find your way around the ship. You know, every time I go on board, it's amazing how people are lost all the way up to the very end of the cruise. How do I get back to my cabin? How do I get to the dining room? There is a, like a Waze-like feature that will tell you where you are and how to get to where you want to go with directions. And so if you use this, you won't get lost. You'll find your way wherever you want to be. Um, it also allows you to find people in your traveling party. So you can find friends, your family members. Hey, is everybody at this bar or that bar? Um, and so you can even find, you know, here's a screenshot is the, the mom busting the dad and the son who are having milkshakes. 
you know, typical mom, wet blanket, ruining the party. I'm, I'm kidding, of course. But what's great about this is that as an adult, let's say you want to know, where's my wife? Where's my husband? Let's say you're the husband. Hypothetically, let's say you don't want to be found. Well, you can turn off the feature as an adult and say, I don't want to be found. If you're a kid, you may not turn that off. You will always be findable, which is great for me. Having just sailed on the Sky Princess in December with my twin boys, I always knew where they were, and I used it quite often. It was amazing how often I did use it, um, and it is a really cool feature. If you meet new friends on board and you want to add them to your profile, you can, but like I said, as an adult, you can turn it off. The best Wi-Fi at sea is MedallionNet. I mentioned that earlier, and it is blazing fast. The way satellite technology works, the closer you are to the equator, so let's say Caribbean, Mexico cruising, it's going to be blazing fast, almost land-like speed. The farther north you go, say up to Alaska, the Baltic and Europe, it is going to be a little slower. But of the cruise lines that are in that region, trust me, it is the best that's available. And it's very reliable. It's available in your cabin, in an inside cabin. I was on board for a work trip, uh, FaceTiming my family, sailing the Caribbean Sea from an inside cabin. Every cabin has its own router. So it's not like there's hot spots or or bad spots on board. Every every spot is a good spot. This picture I wanted to share is from one of our BDMs up in Ontario, Canada. This is Sarah. They actually sailed on the sky when she was delivered last year. But in order to make that happen, Sarah had to get pulled out of school. So poor thing, she had to get yanked out of high school for a week. But she had to catch up and stay active with her homework. So here she is on her balcony of the Sky Princess in the Mediterranean Sea, thanks to Medallion Net logging into her class portal and being able to do homework. So that tells you how fast it is. And I just love that picture. So thank you, Sarah, for sharing that. You know, if you look at your own phone, you probably have a number of apps on there uh, that, that may, may look like the screen I'm showing here. You know, the Nest feature, Uber Eats, Clear for getting on planes, Waze, Netflix, uh, gaming, you name it. And the, what we're trying to accomplish, which is pretty incredible with Medallion Class, is we have all these different features that support everything you're seeing here. And what's really cool about it is that we've managed from a technological standpoint, you notice these are all separate apps, separate companies ashore. We've done it all on board as part of one app. The Medallion Class app is fully integrated with all those features. Um, and if you tell your clients to go and make sure to download that before they get on board, all that will be there for the getting ocean ready before they get on board, as well as, of course, um, once they uh, are experiencing the uh, service on board. So why sell Princess Medallion Class? You know, why would you want to do that? Um, based on what you've seen, I want to give you a couple of reasons and hopefully um, these make sense. First up is that we are seeing a double digit increase in net promoter score, which is the ultimate measure of satisfaction uh, of any product or service that you buy or experience. We're seeing a double digit increase in net promoter score for people that are, are on medallion class ships versus our non-medallion class ships. And so what this means is that the higher people rate and experience, the higher the NPS, the more likely they are to come back and repeat and the higher, they, higher likelihood of them referring that product and you to some one of their friends. Because hopefully you know referrals are the number one form of marketing that is out there more than any billboard, more than any email or digital ad. It's all about referrals. And so the dying class is delivering. Because as great as the technology and there's a talk about it, if it doesn't work and if people don't feel more special, they're not gonna come back. And we're seeing a double digit increase in those scores, which is awesome. The other thing, which is really what is a dying class to me all about, it's about giving you more time to enjoy your precious limited vacation time. I don't know about you, but I don't get to vacation all year long. And so when I do, I want to maximize it. And Medallion Class is all about maximizing your limited vacation time. And it really is true that you're spending less time in line, less time worrying about things and going to get things. It comes to you. It makes your life easier. And so that's really uh, what it's all about. We had a travel advisor sale with us last year um, who, who sent me this email after she got back. And she was, this was early days on the Caribbean Princess. It was in the very start of 2019. So the ship had only had it running for a couple months. She said, this was the best cruise I've ever taken and the very best family vacation we've ever had ever. The dining class experience exceeded all my expectations. So I could not have written that better myself, uh, but clearly it was a great testament. And like I said, this was early days when she wrote this and it's gotten so much better since she's gotten off. And we are still making it better every day we have some pretty cool announcements of improvements we're making. Here's a quick snapshot of all the ships that are running Medallion Class, the Caribbean Regal Royal Crown Sky, and just activated two days ago or three days ago, the Grand, uh, the Ruby Princess. And then we've got the Grand Enchanted Emerald Coral and Island coming out this year. So by the end of this year, we'll have 11 ships uh, activated. So basically two thirds of our fleet. Next year, when the Discovery Princess comes out, she's gonna be fully Medallion Class enabled. But watch this space, because I know we're gonna be announcing even more ships, our goal, is to have our entire fleet 
up and running with Medallion Class. Okay, switching gears for a moment, let's talk about the best sale ever, which is in the market now. Hopefully you know everything there is to know about it. Uh, and what I'm about to tell you, you say, yeah, John, I knew that. Well, let's, let's see and test your knowledge. So the be best sale ever is in market right now, and it includes drinks, Wi-Fi, and gratuities. The richest, best offer for sure we've ever, ever given. We introduced this on December 11th. It's going to end on February 29th. Yes, there is a February 29th this year. Uh, it applies to all cruises and cruise stores sailing from April of this year to everything that we have published for voyages three days and longer. It includes all cabin categories, including third and fourth guests and even fifth uh, in the sky suites and the family suites. From a destination standpoint, where is it, where is it applying to? Well, it focused, our main focus, of course, is summer 2020 with Alaska for cruises and cruise stores, Europe, Caribbean, Japan, uh, and speaking of Japan, I want to show you a quick montage slide of some pictures of my family and I in, in Japan last May on the Diamond Princess. We have a dedicated ship there in Japan. It's one of my absolute favorite places on earth. And if you have not gone or sent your clients there, don't miss out. We have a number of really unique itineraries that are matched up to local festivals in the perfect time of the year. So anyway, enough about Japan, but it is truly one of my favorite places. Other destinations covered, you can see them all here. It's basically everywhere we go, right? But that was the point I wanted to make, that it's not limited to select trades or select voyages. Um, it does include, like I mentioned, the premier beverage package, unlimited Wi-Fi, and gratuities. And I want to talk about those um, for just a second in, in, uh, for each one. But I do want to share, like, what is the value proposition? What are you getting? If you went out and bought the premier beverage package, unlimited Wi-Fi, and gratuities, you would spend $95.28 per day if you just bought those separately. All of those are included in the best sell ever fares, which is great because it raises the price of me, which means more commission for you because all that's included. So your clients win because they get more value ads and you win. But now you might be saying, well, I'm sure you just jacked up the price to make it that much more uh, profitable for you because you're including all these great things. And I want to show you an example of our fair only so this is the princess savers fair and i'll give you an example of a seven day alaska cruise let's look on the look at the balcony and it costs 1239 dollars. now if you were to go out and buy the three things i just talked about premier beverage package wi-fi and gratuities that would cost you 95 dollars and 28 cents per day which equals 665 dollars if you bought them separately more than the princess savers fair but we're only charging 1539 dollars so we're charging 300 dollars more for the value of 665. It's almost a savings of 60% off uh, if you were to buy those things separately. And those three things are always part of the best sell ever. You can't, you don't pick and choose, you have to worry about any of that stuff. And they're the three most popular uh, values that we, or value adds that we see people wanting. It's the drinks, it's Wi-Fi, and it's I wanna pay the gratuities for the crew and get that out of the way. And so the fact that you get this uh, as part of it and paying, you pay a slight premium, but it's nowhere near the value of buying them separately. Another example, 11 day round trip, uh, Copenhagen cruise, uh, Scandinavian Russia, you paid 2309 for a balcony. If you bought those three things separately, it would be an extra $1,045 more, but we're only charging 540, so it's up to 2849. So it's a great value for your clients. And like I said, the commission goes to you. Now, how is Best Sell ever different than a lot of other promotions that are out there? And I wanted to give kind of a point by point comparison to what other cruise lines are doing. So there's no hidden fees with us, meaning when you bet the premier, when you get the premier beverage package, the tips are included for the drinks. A lot of lines don't include them. We include them. It applies to all staterooms type, all stateroom types with princess. And with other lines, it varies. Sometimes it's balcony and above or only select ones. We give it to all of them. It's a simple one choice offer. These next two points really make it easy on you where you don't have multiple per permutations uh, well, this client wants these four things. This client wants these two things. It's all the same, and uh, it's all included as part of it, and it makes your life that much easier. Uh, the Premier Beverage Package, uh, unlimited Wi-Fi. You know, some brands are offering lower tier drink packages, which aren't as in, as conclusive as ours, or limited Wi-Fi. And like I said, last point is that it's available in all cabin categories, so all metas, and it includes the upper berths as well. And a lot of the other ones aren't extending that. So we think it's the best sell ever for a good reason. Uh, and that's why I wanted to show that to you. Okay, Premier Beverage Package is for all guests in the stateroom, and the bar gratuity is included, like I said, and it's for all guests of a legal drinking age. Now, not everybody drinks alcohol, other than kids, of course, but not even adults, sometimes they don't drink alcohol, that's fine. And we believe there's huge value in buying this package, even if you don't drink alcohol, because of all the non-alcoholic benefits that you get, the specialty coffees, the teas, smoothies, fountain sodas, bottled water, juices, 
uh, energy drinks, uh, milkshakes, you name it, and special mixture of non-alcoholic cocktails by our liquid chef uh, extraordinaire, uh, Rob Floyd. And all that's included. If you went and bought all those things on their own, the discounting, because of the discounting we've offered for the drink package, you are getting still value. So if your clients say, well, I don't drink a lot, they probably drink more of these things than they realize, and the cost adds up, so the value is definitely there. Rob Floyd, I mentioned, is our master mixologist. He is a dreamy, dreamy guy. He's a great guy. He's great energy and super passionate about what he does, and he's actually created a whole new menu of zero-proof cocktails. So these are all non-alcoholic drinks that he has created. So again, for your clients who want to try something, these are all included in the Premier Beverage Package. So just wanted to show that to you. The Wi-Fi is for all the guests in the stateroom. They each get one device connected at a time per guest, so you can switch devices. That's fine. Uh, for Medallion Net and Princess Connect enabled ships, it's unlimited Wi-Fi. We have a couple ships left that are still minute-based, but they're going away very soon. Uh, they get 5,000 minutes, and if you need more than 5,000 minutes, you probably should stay home. And the Wi-Fi does not cover land portions of our cruise tours yet, but we are working on that. Uh, the gratuities are just the full gratuities paid to the crew on your behalf. So we're not discounting that in any way. They get dollar for dollar what they would have got had you bought it separately. Um, it applies for all the guests in the stateroom. Uh, it doesn't cover specialty dining and spa, but it does cover bar charges because like I said, bar tips are included uh, in the Premier Beverage Package. The deposit is only $100 per guest and it's refundable. And the deposits are only required for guests one and two. So if you have three and four uh, beds being occupied, don't worry, it's only for one and two. There are non-refundable options available, so if your clients know for sure I want to go, they can pay a non-refundable deposit and pay a cheaper fare. So something to consider if your clients know for sure that they want to go. If you have clients that have already booked with Princess over the last year and their cruise you know, is coming up later this year, uh, and they say, well, shoot, I, I booked under the um, you know, uh, sip and sail or three for free. And I, I want to upgrade into the other uh, amenities that you're now offering. We can do that. You don't have to worry about canceling bookings. You can actually refare them using the coupon code you see on the left. I'm going to tell you right now, our because of wave where this best sale offer is so popular, our call volume is really high. Our whole times are long. We're trying to work through that, but I, I highly recommend you go into your GDS. So Saber, Amadeus, whatever you use or Polar online, of course, the best booking tool out there. And you can enter in these coupon codes that you see, which will then add the amenities you see for the price per day. So let's say they had a, a big onboard credit that was part of the, uh, the LTO that they booked under, and they want to add drinks, Wi-Fi, and gratuities. They can do that for only $40 per day per person. Remember, it would cost them $95.28 if they did it on their own. Let's say on the very bottom, you only need to want, a, you already got the drink package from Sip and Sale, but you want to add Wi-Fi and gratuities. Enter in best to WG and you get for $25 per day those added uh, amenities. So it gives you that option uh, to really easily upgrade your clients. And uh, these are all commissionable for you. So it's really cool. All right. I'm going to zip through uh, a couple of quiz questions. And even though I can't see your hands being raised, I want to make sure you learn this. Can your client pick two of the three best sell ever perks? Say, oh, I don't want one. I want the other two. The answer is no. All three are part of the sale. Make sure that's clear. What if your client doesn't drink alcoholic beverages? Answer B, I love, they should start drinking them. No, uh, this is a little bit complicated. It's kind of a trick question. There are many non-alcoholic options. Plus they can, if they want, choose the fare only with no perks. So it's not like we're forcing you to buy uh, the best sell ever. We just think it's the greatest value. How many people in a stair must book into best sell ever? Okay, so number one um, is a funny answer. Guess one and then he or she can buy drinks for the rest of the people which is actually, believe me, that's happened. I'm going to jump to the answer. And this is a trick question because I didn't even tell you this so far. The answer is B and D. Uh, none, because again, they can choose a fair only option, but it's D as well, because guests one and two must or can have best sale ever, which means they get the drink package and everything else. But guests three and four can opt out and they can book under Princess Savers. And um, right now it's a manual process. We have to book all four under best sale ever and then give us a call and then we will back to three and four out into Princess Savers. Let's say you got some seven-year-old kids that aren't going to drink a ton and they aren't going of even a non-alcoholic and they're going to not spend a ton of time on Wi-Fi. The parents say, oh, I just want to give them the, the fare. You can do that. So we've built that flexibility in, uh, which is pretty cool. I like to think we have thought of everything. Uh, how, many how many devices per guest for Wi-Fi are provided? Uh, it is one device can be used at a time per guest. Want to make sure that's clear. And then finally, let's recap the offer. Why is it our best sell ever? It includes premier beverage package tips. It's unlimited Wi-Fi. Full gratuities paid to the crew on your behalf. It goes to all destinations, voyages three days and longer, and all stateroom categories, including third, fourth, 
and fifth guest. Uh, if you if you want more information on this, please, please, please go to onesourcecruises.com. We've got flyers, we've got overviews with FAQs, we've got some detailed guidelines on how to refare your clients. The full voyage list is published there. We've got some web banners for you to use, as well as a promotional video, which I, I uh, produced to help walk you through it all. It's all available there. All right, wrapping up here, I want to remind you that Princess has the best military benefit in the industry, up to $250 in onboard credit for any um, guest who is either active duty or retired military for US, Canada, UK, Australia. We've got them all covered. They get registered in our system in Polar, and once they're there, um, you fill out the form, and they're always registered. It doesn't affect pricing or your commission in any way. It's just a gift that we give them to spend on board. It's available on any cruise, anytime. Here's some pictures of my dad when he was captain of the Battleship Missouri, so it's near and dear to my heart. Um, but it's something that I like to say we give back the best, and we want to say, thank them all for their great service. We've expanded our Captain Circle program. I said it was the best loyalty program in the industry, and I believe it's for a reason because we actually include now kids. So they get to reap the benefits if they get to cruise a lot if they're lucky. And you might think, well, how many kids are lucky enough to sail that much? I got to tell you, there's some kids out there. These two kids, Alexis is 15. He has spent 538 days with us on Princess. And Wyatt, a little cutie over there, age nine, has done 46 cruises. So they get the benefits of the Platinum and Elite. Um, so I just want to mention that for your clients that have kids that travel a lot, definitely check that out. Princess Academy. Now, if you haven't already taken Princess Academy, it's the best online training program in the industry. It's over 11 years running now. Uh, we've completed 2 million courses. Actually, we're going to our 13th year. 2 million courses completed since 2007. When you become Commodore, which is the highest um, ranked uh, tier within the uh, program, you get a free cruise. So this is our gift back to you. You've invested the time. It takes about 25 to 30 hours to complete it. So it's an investment of your time. But we see double-digit sales increase for people that have taken it and become Commodore because they, you, know, you sell what you know and you're, you're an expert on. And you are also uh, recognized as an elite guest when you do sail with us, once you become Commodore. And we're actually developing a new sales program called Sales Expert, which I won't uh, tease anymore. But I'll, I'll give you some more information on that when, it, uh, when we're ready to talk about it. Okay, there's my dog, Murphy. I like to show pictures of dogs, as you can tell. If you haven't followed me on Facebook already, please do so. Go to Facebook and type in Princess VP Sales. I'm going to check now to see how many people added me as a friend uh, from this call. And let's see where we're at. Okay, we got some increase. We're now up to 17,087. So a few of you did follow me. Please, if you haven't already, do so. And with that, I want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support you offer Princess and Cunard Line. On behalf of the 30,000 men and women who work on Princess, we appreciate it. And with that, I will stop talking finally and take some questions, but I'm going to leave it on this screen so you rem are reminded about my Facebook presence. Perfect. You have some questions? And our first one is from Shannon, who is wondering how travel advisors find out who their BDM is for Princess. Good question, Shannon. So in one source, there's a BDM locator. So you can go in there and enter your information as to where you are, and it will tell you who your BDM is. Okay, perfect. That is easy enough. Our next question is from uh, Wander Lucia, who is wondering if the Riverboat Fair in Fairbanks is included in the trip package. Uh, I don't believe, it's a good question. I don't believe it is. I believe it's an added tour, and, but it depends on what cruise tour you're buying into. And so if you're buying a connoisseur cruise, then that is probably included because we include a lot of the tours and the meals and you have a hosted experience. Uh, when you do connoisseur but if you're just uh, spending a night or two at fairbanks and you want to go do that then that's an added uh, expense okay got it this next question is from zipporah who's wondering if you could speak a little bit about round trip cruises from los angeles so we have a number of um you know options out of la and it includes alaska like i mentioned you can go down to mexico you can do hawaii 15-day cruise to hawaii round trip which i've done with my family uh, you can also do what we call a California coastal trip. And so this is where, and I've done this as well with my family. We did it for spring break one year. Again, living in LA. To not have to go to LAX is a godsend, right? Nightmare to get to LAX right now. And to be able to drive down to San Pedro and get on a ship and go up the coast and go to Santa Barbara, go to San Francisco, go to Monterey, um, you know, go to Ensenada. And as part of your cruise experience, it's a really great way. And, you know, we all live in the West Coast. So you don't usually visit the West Coast and unless family or friends come in from out of town. Then you become a tourist. And so this is a great way to experience uh, some West Coast ports. So we've got it all covered. Hawaii, 
Mexico, California coast, and Alaska. All right, perfect. And sort of along the same line of questions, we do have some people wondering if you are in East Coast ports and specifically Miami. So we are not in Miami, but we are in Fort Lauderdale, which is just north, you know, 45 minutes north of there. And that's where our ships are based. And we have a number of cruising there that go to the Caribbean, go through the Panama Canal. Um, yeah, we do a number of uh, trips. You know, I mentioned South America earlier, very, very briefly, as we were the number one ranked brand for South America. Um, we have a trip this month, I think it may have already set sail, that is doing a 49 or 54 day circumnavigation of South America out of Fort Lauderdale. Um, pretty amazing trip. But granted, that's for people to have a lot of time and a lot of money. Um, but it gives you an idea of the breadth of cruising we do even out of Fort Lauderdale. Okay, perfect. And I know you mentioned that you bring your kids on Princess all the time. We have some people wondering what the age of kids is typically on board. It's a great question. It varies depending on the time of the year. I mean, clearly the summer months, the spring break time, and we know spring break kind of extends, you know, there's no one week for spring break, thankfully. It kind of is stretched out over several weeks. Um, the holiday cruises are very busy. Uh, for for cruising with kids, um, you know, and Thanksgiving week is busy, and we'll see several hundred kids on board. And so our official programs, there's a, a group basically for three to seven year olds that we um, you know host programs for them. Then you've got eight to twelve, then you've got the thirteen to seventeen year olds, uh, the teenagers. And so we have unique programs for each of them, and the numbers really do vary depending on the time of year, the destination, the length of the voyage. Um, you know, it really is a question I can't answer, but, you know, my kids have been going to the kids programs, the youth programs, and now the teen programs, uh, they're so spoiled. They've been going, you know, so many cruises on their own. And, uh, the ultimate test of any, of any experience, any cruise, when we take them to the kids center and at the end of the night, we go and pick them up and they say, I want to go back. That's the ultimate measure. And they always wanted to go back, which was great. But now they're teenagers. They can sign themselves in and out of the, of the program. So it's a little different, but thanks to Medallion class, I can know, I know where they are at all times, which is cool. Yeah, perfect. Uh, we have Rachel just wanting everyone to know that uh, One Source is truly the best booking engine, and she also loved the Sky Princess, so always happy to hear good feedback. Awesome. And it looks like it, our last question will be from Valerie, who is wondering how to find out about your upcoming seminars at sea, if you have any. We do have some seminars at sea, and so we have limited numbers, and so we don't publish them and say, you know, first come from first serve. We usually work with the agencies that uh, we're partnering with to say we have these opportunities and select the agents that you um, have that are interested and that you feel are ready to go and are, you know, um, qualified to sell, um, you know, the business to justify kind of that investment. It's all about what we're giving up and what we expect back. And um, as part of the business side of it, we uh, believe me, I wish I could take these ships out of inventory for months and just get every travel advisor on board. But it's a, it's a process we go through with each of the agency um, uh, management teams. So make yourself, you know, raise your hand to your team and say, hey, when Princess asked, I wanna go. And, um, you know, hopefully it will definitely work out for you. And we also have, by the oh, way, you know, a number of import uh, events. So if you're in Fort Lauderdale or in even New York or in L.A. or San Francisco or Seattle, we open the ships up for tours that our BDMs host, you know, on the weekends or when the ships come in. And so keep an eye out for those as well if you happen to live uh, in those markets. Perfect. Good advice. And that wraps up our questions. So I think we can move on to the bobblehead giveaway. Great. And I want to, can I mention real quick before we get to the bobblehead, you know, you guys are seeing a lot of news about the coronavirus um, out there in the, in the marketplace. And there's, um, you know, the fear is kind of getting up. And I want to make sure that you know that we take this very seriously. And we're working very closely with uh, the CDC, Centers for Disease Control. Our chief medical officer is very engaged in that. We are going to publish today and we'll have it up on one source, some um, updates on how we're screening guests and ensuring that anybody that's been to mainland China um, you know, the process we're going through for that. So we want to make sure that the, that we don't get overhyped in the fear of this. It's a very serious issue and we take it very seriously. But, um, you know, th like anything, whether it's, it's flu season now, right? So the flu is also very deadly and very dangerous. We're not talking about that. The coronavirus is getting all the attention. Um, but we take all this very seriously in the screening process we're going through. I'll be posting an update later today on one source. Just want to draw your attention to that. 
Um, but make sure if your clients are calling you, you know, calm them down a little bit and uh, just make sure that they know we, we are very engaged in this process and uh, we take it very seriously. Thank you now for let's that. Give away That's good to hear. Yeah. Okay. I'll do a little drum roll. And our winner is Tanya Cobb. Tanya Cobb Ooh. or Tanya Cobb, I don't know. Tanya but or Tanya, congratulations. congratulations. I will make sure. Lucky you. Yeah, I'll make sure. I will get uh, your email over to John and then you'll be the lucky recipient of a bobblehead. So congratulations. Awesome. That is great. And John, thank, thank you so you much for all the wonderful information. Yeah, thank you, Anna, for hosting and for everybody for joining in today. Very much appreciate it. Thanks for your support of Princeton Canard Line. Good luck with Wave. Happy selling. Don't forget best sell ever. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Bye.